Hey you guys, what's going on? Um, this is Homefront, yeah. Um, since, if you haven't played Homefront yet, ground control can take a really long time, kind of like a bad Company 2 game. So, what I did is, I split up the clips, depending on how many times you get pushed back. And I have three clips, because we, um, there are three different rounds. So, I'll cut this off whenever we get, whenever we, uh, win the first round. So that's how I'm going to do it. Um, so, yeah, just so everyone's, uh, everyone knows about that. Um, so yeah, this is Homefront. This game is amazing, and it is definitely worth the money. If you want a game that takes teamwork to actually play the objective, this is your game. It's kind of like Bad Company 2, but it runs a little bit smoother, and the f they have dedicated servers. So that means no lag switches, no spawn lag, nothing. Um, this game is very balanced, and unlike Call of Duty, there's certain guns aren't just, they don't dominate everything, which is kind of nice because, I mean, then you don't rage a lot at it. But the only thing I've found out annoying so far is whenever people call out double helicopters and they're both on the same team that gets really annoying because people tell me they're like oh the uh, proximity launcher locks on I don't believe them because every time I tried nothing ever happens and so for that is the only thing I found out to be annoying is double helicopters which eh, that's not a game changer but um kill streaks in this game are not overpowered. You you cannot whore a kill streak just because number one, you don't really build kill streaks. There's the ones you pick. You pick two kill streaks, which you see in the bottom right corner. There will be one on up and like up on D-pad, down on D-pad. And right now I have RPGs and a white phosphorus. You know what RPGs are? Um, white phosphorus is uh, it's kind of like a napalm, but it covers a whole, it covers like a big area, like a circle, and the missile explodes, and the smaller missiles, I think, and it's just fire, and it's, I think that's the best so far, I didn't unlock cluster bomb yet, I don't that one really bad, but the first one is a hellfire, and it's like, you get two predator missiles to call in, which it's, it's okay, but I used that a lot until I got the phosphorus. Um, but there are, you can have equipment kind of like Call of Duty, obviously. Right now I have an ACR with a grenade launcher. With, uh, see I just bought an RPG. Um, ACR with grenade launcher, um, C4, and grenades. And grenades in this game are, the blast radius isn't overpowered, so... It's there's not really any type of equipment or anything. It just it depends on how good you are with the gun to win. So there's no UMP. There's no MP40. There's no uh, 74U. So that's pretty nice. Um, but yeah, I would definitely at least give it a rent if you don't have the spare 60 bucks in your hands. I mean, hey, I understand. Tough economy, but. Um, this game is definitely worth the rent and definitely the buy. But, uh, I mean, dedicated servers are what make this game so amazing. Just because there's, you cannot blame a lag switch anymore for all those people that enjoy blaming lag switches. Um, no spawn lag. And, uh, spray. Yeah, that's right. Um, so, yeah. Uh, and like I said, I broke this up depending on rounds and I think round one is almost over and I'm gonna end this commentary and then I'm gonna start again on round two and I'll upload them after like round one two and three on YouTube obviously and um so yeah um I am going to cut off the commentary right now, and I'm going to start on number two, and I will talk to you guys later.